uh, good morning good afternoon wherever you are on the globe today uh, we are going to see another problem which was asked in gate 2019 it takes a while to read the problem in the first place it's a lengthy problem so i request everyone to pause this video and read what it is given on the screen and try to answer on your own if you don't get an answer come back and watch the rest of my video uh, on a lighter note don't get intimidated by the length of the problem or kind of notations that they have used in explaining the problem to you in fact this is a very simple problem and without using any calculations or without performing any calculations you can easily get the two marks out of this question let's see how this can be done before we dive deep into the specific details of the problem i would like to drive home a key concept that is there are three things which almost remains the same or which always holds true in multiple kinds of problems at least uh, when you are solving problems from solid mechanics or applied mechanics they are these three conditions one is the equilibrium equations second is the compatibility conditions and the third is the constitutive equations in this problem let's see how we can employ each of these things and get our way to the answer first let's see how the free body diagram of the individual disc look like uh, when we keep them apart or when we tear them apart so here i have shown the whole system where i have two discs this is the first disc and then we have the second disc over here there is no friction at the interface that's what they have conveyed to us in the problem so i'm picking the inside cylinder and drawing its free body diagram let's talk about the forces in the radial direction for the time being let's not uh, worry about the forces in the axial direction or the lateral direction so we know inside pressure is acting at the inside surface so that's why i have shown uh, this red arrows over here that represents the internal pressure that is acting on the system at the interface what we have at the interface since there is a contact between the two discs there will be a contact stress or a contact pressure that will be acting on the inside disc as shown over here uh, i have used a black color to distinguish that pressure from the internal pressure then this there is a it is i've given the notation pc just to tell uh, it's a contact stress ph subscripts c now let's say if i have to draw the free body diagram of my outside uh, disc this is my outside disc and this is my inside disc newton's third law holds true wherever you are whenever you are so the id of the outside cylinder coincides with the od of the inside cylinder so id will be subjected to an internal pressure of pc make sense so this is what uh, we have from drawing the free body diagram the one key takeaway is that the radial load acting at the interface has to be the same that comes from newton's third law another thing now let's say what can we derive when we enforce compatibility conditions in this problem the compatibility condition says that the things has to remain stay put they cannot separate one they cannot separate out so if you apply that constraint here what does that tell you hold your thought for a while so the compatibility condition tells us that the radial displacement at this interface has to be the same the amount by which the inside cylinder dilates the same amount or by the same amount the outside cylinder also has to dilate if this condition is violated then the system cannot exist or they cannot the system cannot remain stay put so this is the compatibility constraint that we need to enforce in this kind of problems another key concept is that that i would like to explain with this simple example apologies for my chicken sketch uh, here i have shown a cylinder and i have applied internal pressure 
if i ask you a question what will be the kind of stresses that that are de- that will be developed in the cylinder since the cylinder has open ends there will not be any meridional stress or the longitudinal stress will be zero so there won't be any longitudinal stress different persons use different terminologies some we also call it the meridional stress whatever it is that component is zero but there will be a hoop stress there will be a radial stress what you can tell me about the radial stress acting at the interface acting at the inside interface actually uh, from common sense that radial stress is equal to the applied internal pressure so if i have applied 5 mpa pressure or 50 bar internal pressure inside the pressure vessel the radial stress at that point will be sigma radial minus 5 mpa why it is minus 5 mpa because it, it's compressing uh, this can be derived out of uh, you she stress tensor and all those things but i'm not going into those details but it's a very simple concept when you have a pressure vessel uh, subjected to internal pressure at the interface the radial stress will be e- will be compressive in nat- nature and it will be equal to the applied internal pressure makes sense with all these concepts put together now we can go and look into the problem i think by now you are equipped to pick the right answer out of the four options Uh, so give it a try on your own so the option a tells that the radial dilation or the displacement at the interface are same for both the cylinders makes sense this this came comes from the compatibility condition next constraint says that the sigma rrm equal to sigma rrn the sigma rr is the radial stress radial stress has to be the same why because when we draw the equilibrium or the free body diagrams or equilibrium diagrams that can be we clearly saw that at the interface there is a pressure that's a pressure due to the contact that's called we called it pc i hope you remember it i'm just drawing another poor sketch over here so that if you have if you didn't remember what we draw a couple of minutes back so at the at the at the interface for the inside cylinder the radial stress will be minus pc and for the outs for the outside cylinder it will be minus pc and for the inside one also it has to be minus pc because otherwise the boundary conditions will be va- in uh, invalid so uh, that's pretty much uh, a common sense question uh, you can bring in maths all the time i i can tell uh, bring in the cauchy stress tensor then i can bring in the concept of normals uh, then we can say that for the traction to be the same on the at the interface um uh, you can have mathematical expressions to prove that but even you do all those maths uh, this is what you will end up with so that's what i wanted to convey uh, i hope may it makes sense so answer is option a the radial displacement has to be the, has to have to be the same similarly the stresses especially the radial stresses also have to be the same at the interface uh, makes sense so a couple of lessons couple of takeaways from this kind of a problem is that uh, don't get intimidated by the length of the problem or by the kind of notations that they have used it's a very simple problem if you know the concept you can get this two marks uh, at the drop of a hat maybe 30 seconds 20 seconds you can get two marks thank you thanks a lot for watching